Well, hey family, this is Darlene. Wanted to thank you for stopping by the Jury by BDK YouTube channel. I know you didn't come here for a sermon. <laughs> so here's the video and we'll talk. Well, hey family, happy Thursday. I hope everybody is doing well. Stopping by real quick because I am sitting here making bracelets. And um, I almost didn't turn the camera on only because I'm watching... Um, it's a, it's a sermon that I'm watching, and I didn't really want to turn on the, the camera because I wanted to watch it. But anyway, this is what I'm doing. I'm using some of the aluminum wire to make, to make a bracelet, and I'm going to see how this is going to turn out. I really don't know, but we're going to see real quick. So we're going to be using um, just a, a variety of beads right here. So we're going to try to match these colors. I don't know if this whole... Oh, you know what? I'm not going to be able to use these beads because the hole is not big enough. So it's big enough for one bead, but it's not big enough for two beads. But you know what I'm going to do? Because I have two pieces of the cord, and if that bead, is, I mean, that hole on the bead is that small, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try something and let's see if we can do it as a double. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but let's check it out and see what we can do. We're going to use a couple of these little gold beads, little small ones, just to create some a separation. So we're going to do it like this because we have two strands. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take one side. And then I can cut one of the strands off, but I don't want to. Um, so if I do, let me see, what other beads do I want to use on here? Let's just try something. Let's see what we come up with. Hopefully it comes out looking like something. Let's use some of these beads. And we're just going to keep... Um, do I, have some, I don't have any silver spacers. So, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to use random beads just to see what this comes out looking like. Because it's not going to do what I wanted it to do. And I think that'll be okay. So we just we're just gonna do something, and then we're gonna see how this turns out. And if it don't turn out, uh, <laughs> you know, worth keeping, no worries. I'll take it apart. I will definitely take it apart. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and double it like that, and then I gotta see if I got enough beads up here to be doing something with. I might have to use. Let's go with some beads we haven't used yet. How about that? I'm going to grab some of these blue beads and stuff and see what we come up with. We're just going to put some random beads on here and then see what we get. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. Try to make sure they're all the same size. That's definitely what we're going to do. And I think we might be able to come up with something good. You know what I'm going to do, though? This bead I'm going to keep because the hole is pretty big. And I can close the bracelet off with this bead because that hole is so, that hole is so big. So... And then what we're going to do is put another bead on this side. Well, this is a mess. I wasn't um, I wasn't ready. I thought the bead was the hole on the bead was bigger than what it actually is. It's not, so that's okay. We're just going to keep on moving, and then see what we come out with. Hopefully, we'll come out come out with something that's pretty jazzy. 
And that's what that looks like so far. And then we're going to grab some other beads. We're just going to be grabbing some beads. We're just going to go ahead and put whatever we find on here. And then we're just going to keep it moving. That's what we're going to do. Only because Darlene was not ready. That's going to be real nice, right? We shall see. And we don't need as many beads because this part is taking up most of the top part of the wrist. And if I look at it, that's probably too many beads. So let me start beading the other side. Yeah. some small beads make the little round beads and the reason I'm using the little round beads is to break up to be able to separate on this side And that's what it's all about. Um, just kind of going with the creative flow. Whatever you come up with, you basically just come up with. Just keep it moving. And I think many times that's how you come out with really different jewelry. Because you mess around and not do something. Or you make a mistake on something. And then you'd be like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to just go forward with this. I'm not changing nothing. All right, so now we're going to start beating with some beads. Where did I put that other yellow bead at? Oh, right here. Let's put this one on here. Ooh, this is a mess. This is why you got to be ready. Um, This one is too big because I when I put it on first. So let's do... We're going to go with this green bead. Somebody was saying something about uh, needles. And I did buy needles that you can actually thread beads with. But I really don't like using those because I'm not, I'm not in a rush to create anything. I, I like just being able to... Um, you know, to just make whatever it is that I'm making. I appreciate the, the tip, though. I really do. Don't ever think that I don't. I do. So if I do this like this, I like that just like that, like that with the, with the metal. And then we only need to do a couple more, put a couple more beads on here. And it'll be double sided. Let's put maybe one of these. I just like to, you know, like to be able to sit here and, you know, like just literally thread and do what I'm doing. If I ever had to produce like a high quality, not high quality, but a high quantity of, um, you know, product, of course, you, I would use a needle because that does make it faster. But in the meantime, I do like to just kind of sit and, and be, you know, and do my thing. It's something pleasurable about it. Oh, yeah, this is very different. Let's see. Yeah, and it's not bad. It's not bad at all because that's the front. That would be the back part of it. Very different. And we don't even need um, too many other beads. I think I can put, if 
I do that, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put one each of these small glass beads on each side just to give it some more pretty. Just to give it some more pretty and some more color. We're going to do that and then we're going to close it off with one big bead. That side, and then we'll do this side. Um, so we can find a red bead, so we'll use a red one. Okay. And then what we gonna do? This what we gonna do? So you can see how it's doubled. It almost looks like for a smaller wrist, but let me see something. It fits my wrist, but once I tie it, it is going to be a little tight. So we are going to put a couple more beads. Oh, actually, you know what we're going to do? No, we're not. We are going to put... We're going to start putting single beads and bring all this together. So... So, we are going to use one of these big beads right here. And if we use one of these big beads, <clears throat> then that gives it, oh yeah, and then that gives it more space. So what we're going to do. We're going to make sure these are like they should be, in a sense of lined up right. Okay. And then that side. And I'm going to go ahead and take the wire now. I'm not the wire, but the, the cord. And start tying it. And then let me see something. Right? Huh. Stop playing. So what we're going to do now, though, is we're going to go ahead and tie it. I'm going to do double. Y'all know I like to do some doubles. And then you have to pull it really well. And as you pull it, the cord stretches, and then it, it's able to smash together and tie securely. So I'm going to tie it a couple more times because the hole on that black bead is pretty big big enough where I can, um, you can see I can tie it as big as I want and then be able to hide it, hide the, the knot. And then I'm gonna do it one time. Oops, 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 oops. And then I'll do it once, pull it nice and tight. And then I'm gonna do two, one, two, nice and tight. And then we're going to go ahead and cut off the extra, the extra stretch cord, about yay. And if you want to, you can put some glue there or you can burn it, whatever you want to do. But I tie it big, with a big enough knot to secure it enough and pull it tight enough. And then I'm going to just pull it right through that big old hole to hide it. And then this is what we got. So let's put this on. And we have half metal, half bead, and it you could wear it either way, that way, or you can wear it this way. And even if you wanted to, to give it some color, you can put some charms on here, or just leave it like this, and then match it with um, a couple other braces here. Oh, look, we got this one here, too. Or match it with another bracelet. And that's a jazzy arm, right? 
however you want to piece them together. I really like this with the double that way. And then we got the bead right there in the middle, which kind of breaks it up. And then we turn it over and then we have a whole different bead. Um, I didn't do really good with uh, sizing. This looks really pretty. So that's how it looks. So I didn't do really good about like with the wire right here, making the rounded part all even. So I really don't like this part. And then I might even take this, uh, take it apart. And um, because wire is very generous, I can take the wire, you know, loosen it and then kind of start rewrapping it and doing something else to it. It's not a bad looking bracelet though, at all. You know, not at all. And it's a like a dual double bracelet. So you can wear this side up and then match it with some other maybe silver and gold bangles or um, some other bracelets you can match it with. And then you can also turn it over this way. And this side basically is the focal point. Got some other bracelets mixed up in there with it or just wear it solo like this. Um, and the cool thing is if you have to write, it's not in the way, so it's flat. And this side, um, it's flat as well. So it's not like the beads are really big and stuff and would be in the way. But this is really cool, I like this. I think I am gonna be doing some doubles, you know, double, uh, double strand. Yeah, so with this one, I could I could see where I, I didn't do it to make it look, you know, like really nice, like I like them to look, because those are not even. However, it still is a nice, nice little bracelet. You guys let me know what you think. But anyway, Darling Night for Jury by BDK, and guess what? We'll talk.